Hey what's up guys. I am here with a new video, in today's video, we are going to learn about the OpenAI Assistant API. An Assistant API refers to a set of programming tools that allows developers to integrate advanced artificial intelligence capabilities into their applications. Essentially enabling them to create virtual assistants that can understand and respond to user queries. First we need to create an assistant by going to OpenAI official website. Click sign up to create a new account or you can log in with your Google account. On the playground page, you can find assistant tool on the left. Here you can create an assistant. Click create to create a new assistant. Choose any name for your assistant. In system instructions, you can write instructions for your assistant. After writing the instructions, you need to select a GPT model from the drop down list. We will use GPT 3.5 Turbo. You can choose any model as per your needs. After the model selection, we have some tools, which we can use to get specific results from our assistant. The first tool is File Search. File Search enables the assistant with knowledge from files that you or your users upload. Once a file is uploaded, the assistant automatically decides when to retrieve content based on user requests. Second tool is Code Interpreter. Code Interpreter enables the assistant to write and run code. This tool can process files with diverse data and formatting, and generate files such as graphs. Function Calling Function Calling lets you describe custom functions of your app or external APIs to the assistant. This allows the assistant to intelligently call those functions by outputting a JSON object containing relevant arguments. We will use file search tool to provide the information to the assistant. An assistant will guide the user queries from the information provided in the file. First we need to create a text document where we will write the information about anything like information about any company or any product or services. Let's open a company website and copy the information about the company by going to About Us page. And place this information on a text document. And add some more information about the company like owner name, certifications, and its products. So we can ask about these specific information from the assistant. This specific information will help us to judge the accuracy of our assistant. Our file is ready to upload. Now let's enable the file search option and upload the file. After uploading the file, we can ask any question from our assistant. Let's ask from the assistant about the company. And you can see, it returns the answer from the information mentioned in the uploaded document. Let's ask another specific question like who is the owner of the company. and it will return the answer from our document. Let's ask from the assistant about the certifications. And you can see it tell us that the company is ISO 9001 to 2015 certified as mentioned in the document. Let's ask about any product from the assistant. Perfect. Our assistant is well prepared to assist the visitors about the company information and products offered by the company. 
Now we will use Python code to interact with Assistant API. We will use Visual Studio code to write the Python code. I have already written the code in the VS Code Editor. I will explain this code later in this video. First we need to install the OpenAI Python library to interact with OpenAI. In the terminal window, type pip install OpenAI. An OpenAI library will be installed on your project root. OpenAI is already installed on my computer, so it is showing requirements already satisfied message. You can also face an error regarding beta library. So it is better to upgrade the OpenAI by typing pip install upgrade OpenAI. Let's have a look at the requirements of the code. After importing the OpenAI in our project, we need OpenAI API key. So we can get an OpenAI API key by going to official OpenAI website. On the right top, you can find a setting icon. Click on this button to open the settings page. On the right side, you can find API keys menu. Click on this menu to open the API keys page. Click on Create New Secret Key. Write any name for your secret key and click on Create Secret Key button. Our API key has been generated. Copy this key and paste it in our project. Next we need an Assistant ID. We can get Assistant ID by going to Playground and click on Assistance. You can find the assistant ID under the assistant name. Click on this ID to copy the ID and paste this ID in your project. After getting the API key and assistant ID, we can interact our assistant. You can copy this code from this video description. You don't need to change anything from this code except the API key and assistant ID. Now let's run this code in the terminal. We have created a file with the name of chatbot.py. So we can run this code by typing python chatbot.py. And our assistant will show the default message, which is mentioned in the code. And you can change this message anytime. You can also type exit or quit to end the chat. Let's type hi to start conversation with our assistant. And assistant is returning the answer just like we get in chat. So let's ask first question from the assistant about the company. And you can see, assistant is giving the answer as per given information in the uploaded file. Let's ask some other specific questions to verify the accuracy of the answers. Just like we want to know about the owner of the company. And after this, we want to know about the certifications. And we can ask about the products of the company. Our assistant is giving the answers accurately from the given data. You can check the accuracy of the assistant by adding more data and switching between models to find the correct model as per your needs. You can also find the usage history and remaining balance by going to settings and usage menu on the left. Here you can find the usage history as per date, project or by model you have used in your project. In the billing section, you can find your remaining balance, your payment methods, your billing history. And you can check the latest prices of every model like GPT-40 or GPT-40 Mini. Currently we are using Assistant API, so scroll down to find the prices of Assistant API. And you can find the rates as per usage. If you want to know how to add balance in your account, you can watch my video about how to recharge your OpenAI account. Because you need to purchase tokens to use them in chat or Assistant API. 